hello guys and welcome back to my channel and uh, uh, today uh, I decided that I want to do a playlist about the zig programming language so if you hadn't uh, heard of zig is a new language in town whereby it belongs to the same niche as uh, C, C++ and Rust so it's a system language whereby uh, it can be used uh, on writing low level systems like embedded systems operating systems compilers drivers uh, and so on so uh, on this video I'll be showing you how to install it inside your Windows machine so it's very easy it's not complicated I'll take you step by step so the first thing that you have to do is to visit uh, the get started page of the zig, zig language uh, website so i will leave the link on the description below so you can get it with ease so what uh, there are many ways of installing zig so i will be showing you the easier way so you can install it if you have uh, package managers like winget or choco or scoop inside your windows machine it can work so you can install it but if you don't have i'll be showing you a straight most straightforward way of doing that and the straightforward way is this one over here so this section over here so you see you can download the files and configure them manually inside your windows machine so go ahead and click on this link that says downloads so click on it so you'll be greeted by this page over here just take uh, this time say 664 I'll choose this one yeah you can download it so if you click it it will download but as for me I had downloaded it ahead of time so this is my download over here you'll see it will be a zip uh, file over here so what you have to do is to extract it wherever you want uh, on your Windows machine so for me I extracted it on my C drive is this one over here so you can extract it on the downloads page wherever you want but I, uh, I would advise you to extract it on your C drive so after extracting it you have to open just double click it and here on the top on the path uh, pane over here just uh, click on it and copy the path so you right click and copy so the reason that uh, you have to copy it is that uh, we have to register the zig uh, pro, uh, compiler into the global environment variables for Windows so you have to copy this just copy the path over here and go to the start menu and search for env like that and click the first option so you will we'll see this window over here go to the environment variables here this button over here then you will we'll see another window looking like this just double click on the path this one over here so double click you will see another window popping up so what you have to do is just click on new paste the path that you copied then press on ok ok then ok with that you have registered zig in the global environment variable so to confirm if it has worked just type cmd just open your command prompt this one over here and just type zig and see if the, you will see any output so uh, as you can see it has done it very well so this this one over here so to test uh, to test it let us create a, a zig pro a zig project and let and try it and try to run it on a command line so i'll clear the screen like right here then i will make a directory so mkdr so i will name it tests zig lang like that then i will cd inside the, the folder and then uh, let me try create a project but I will show you in the coming videos I will show you uh, how to create uh, the projects but for now just follow me and type zig init just like that and press enter 
so you'll see it has created the following files so the build.zig uh, this one over here and the src over here this this is the full domain whereby we'll be storing our source files so just cd in the src file or folder sorry folder enter then if you dir to list the contents of the folder you'll see the following following uh, files over here there is the main.zig and root.zig but here is where our main source code is lying so to run this program what you have to do just type this command zig build no build exe then the name of the file so it's main.zig then just press enter so we wait for it to build so it if you don't see any error uh, this means that it has built successfully now let us list the contents of the folder again and see what files have been added so as you can see we had these two files over here but uh, there, are, there are these three files over here which were added when we built but the one that which we are concerned with is this main.exe so this is an ex executable whereby we can run it on our uh, command line so just type main dot exe and press enter so with that you have seen our program has ran successfully so that was all so that's uh, the easy way of installing zig inside your windows machine so if you have any question you can leave them in the comment section below and uh, i'll be uh, happy to reply to them and if this video has helped you just leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so uh thank you for your time see you on the next one